Welcome to the loop. Welcome one, welcome hey. all. Hi. I just noticed that a lot of times at the start of a show, I start it like a goat, and I don't know why. I like just a just goat? Go, yeah, I go, welcome all. Man, welcome. Welcome. Maybe that'll be, that'll be what you're internet famous for. Well, that's my cat. That's my catchphrase. <laughs> that's my, welcome. that's my bro fist. Yes. That's my, uh, yeah. that's my, uh, see you next time, guys. Yeah. That's <laughs> hey, YouTube. <laughs> that's. Oh, we know hey, of internet hey, YouTube. things. Huh? Yeah. Hey, YouTube. That's hey, YouTube. my internet catchphrase. It's oh, I, I know one more. What? Coming at you through the power of the internet. Hey! So. It's been in the top with the loop. Keeping you. Uh, That's a go. That's Welcome. A <laughs> Welcome all to loop. My name is Eric. That sounded like a horse. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we got Kyle. <laughs> and Jeremy. Hey. Jeremy. 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 And Trevor. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I was Made trying to call. do a goat yell, but I, it, was, it was too low. <laughs> it's hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all the goats are coming now. Uh, oh no, puns. Uh, that's uh, not a pun. No. Nailed it. Uh, that's uh, welcome to the loop, everybody. This is a talk show about video games. We're excited to be here. We're excited hey. to, uh, you know, move forward in our lives and our progression. This is episode six. We keep taking baby steps. Eventually, we will have a hundred episodes. That is right. Soon. Uh-huh, yeah. like in 94 more episodes. Can we just say hi to Login, to Midnight, to, oh, no. hey, to hey, Jolliver, hey, to all the people in the chat? The people you know? that aren't. The hey, <laughs> it's, good, it's good for hey, you guys to see us tonight. <laughs> Welcome to the Go Cast. <laughs> Go. Uh. Uh. <laughs> we do things goat style around here. You know, like yeah. you, order, you go to you go to uh, like a like a fast food jo burger joint and you order it goat mm -hmm. style. See what yeah. happens. Order it goat style. I, <laughs> yeah. You'd probably get a funny look. <laughs> I don't know. Goat meat sounds pretty good. They, what they do is they use they put they it's still your normal burger, but then you put gyro meat on top of that okay. and feta cheese and a little tzatziki but sauce. That's lamb, isn't it? Yeah. And some tzatziki I mean, that's sauce. Totally different than yeah. a goat. A goat cheese maybe. And maybe, Ooh, there you go. And then they put a little uh maybe they put a little uh little Something little fruit, a little, a little, little berry, something, something. Some berry. Tartar. I definitely enjoy some berry pad thai. Some, some pad thai. food dishes that have a <laughs> variety a of dish. animal products. Mm. Yeah, we know. Yeah, it's just like in a uh, uh, Arby's. They were advertising their. Mo the, I don't remember what it was called, but it was like their meat craft sandwich. And then it had all the pictures of the animals that were included in that. Don't they have like a lamb sandwich now or something? I don't know. <laughs> I thought they did. <laughs> I was like, no, they, have, they have a euro now. They have venison coming out. They have venison. venison. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, wow. Somewhere else is doing a venison That's burger, a, though, too. No, I thought that, that was. They don't do burgers. Uh, well, no, but it's like a steak burger almost. Oh. It looks like a venison oh, steak so on bun. I feel like it'll deer sell well on the coast. Are you kidding me? Deer is amazing. Deer tastes it's like It's good gamey. for you as well. Uh, I don't know. It's Ugh. gross. Yeah. So welcome to the food cast. <laughs> this is where we talk about this, hungry. the talk, talk show about, about Arby's. And so goats. We have the meats bum, and bum, the beats. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, 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 uh. Come to Arby's, get your meat, bro. Get your meat, though. You need all your meat, and it makes you really strong. It's got protein in your bones, meat. and you got their muscles. Go, hey, meat. come to Arby's. Mm. Come to Arby's. Because mm. I'm here. Mm. Trevor's on the mic and he's got the beats. Meat. You go to Arby's because they got the meat. meats. Mm. Yeah. Me. It's the meat cast. Me. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that ending was like, uh, y'all know what to do. Uh -huh. yeah. 
clip that schnaz. <laughs> My mic is and down. then make Kuiper's dance to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we anyways. need a few weeks to set that up. Yeah, there, there's, you know. Trevor's already spit all over yeah, everything my, on my that side of the studio. <laughs> It's uh, it's good to be back here at the Loop. This is one of my favorite. This is my like one of my favorite two shows to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll let you guess what the other one is. The lunch cast. I mean, the lunch cast is it's my second. Fu- it's fire. Yeah. yeah, fire. <laughs> I hate. He loves fire. Yeah. I do not like. Well, look at that. Hey, well, Logan gave Logan. us some oh. cheers. Oh, for, that. for cheering! Thank, Thank you. you so 240 much. Two hundred and forty rupees, I think, is what that is. It That's, equates to yeah. It equates to two hundred and forty rupees. currency. Rup- rupee, rupees, rupees, bits. And she cheered two forty. Hi- Thank you. There, it's the Hyrule currency, correct? It's, it's the Hyrupian. Hyrupian currency. currency. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> what Midnight Angel said that, that Arby's turbans are so good. <laughs> turbans? <laughs> she meant to type Rubens. It must have corrected. They have the most delicious was... turbans. <laughs> I'll take the turban <laughs> <laughs> with extra head sweat. <laughs> uh, I think that's just called extra sauce, Trevor. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You over-explained your joke. It's like I saw someone's coffee order the other day written down or typed, and they accidentally put, they had like a, a Vinti Camel Macchiato. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, mm, Yummy. Mm. Oh, uh, Logan says that the cheers were for the dabs J- that Jeremy, Jeremy did. did. Dab. Mm-hmm. That was good, Jeremy. That, I am talented. That was how wow. he contributed should, to the rap. That's still you, cool, right? If you're interested in supporting Jeremy's <laughs> Patreon, it's dads for dabs. Uh, he's... Uh, <laughs> He doesn't have any yet. So not, okay. dab, not dabs for dads. It's dads for because dads. Because that's dads. completely different and we don't necessarily We don't endorse them. that, no. Yeah, but no. dads for dabs, that's cool dads yeah. who like to dab. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they need all the support they can get on Patreon.com right now. Dads for dabs. Patreon.com slash dads for dabs. dot Rian dot Rihanna. Webmail. Dot goatees. I tell you what, if you just send it to Patreon slash men at the we'll get it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so many things, levels of wrong. Uh, uh, you know, dads have dads, goatees. Goatees. <laughs> dad My bod. dad does have a goatee. Yeah, dad bods and dad dabs. Um, so this is a video game show, right? No, stop no. trying to change the topic, Kyle. I'm not, I'm yeah, gonna, why I'm you got to ruin this? Why, why don't you just find You're the door, the Kyle? Why don't you let me <laughs> steer the rudder? Right, I'll find the door. Find the door, and you walk up forward to it like a video game character that can't figure out how to open it. Just walk into Where you just walk into the wall over. I was going to walk into the wall, but it looks like yeah, it might hurt. it up. You'll break it. Yeah. Or it'll break me. All right. So what, everybody, what games has everybody been playing, huh? Anybody been playing games? I played Lots some games. of Shadow of War. <laughs> yeah. That surprise, great. surprise. I was playing it on Steam 2. And I noticed that you were playing it on Steam, Trevor. Mm-hmm. And I looked, and, and I noticed, and, and you guys were playing it uh, and together. I, and I and I was and playing not, a different game. And uh, <laughs> I just noticed that Trevor like was out of town this weekend. How was one yeah. on a Judd Ryder? Oh, awesome. I mean, yeah. not Judd. Hey, idle movement. I like how all her hey. pictures look like she just popped a quick fart. That's what Kyle said. Uh, so she did look like she. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've seen her before, right? Uh, yeah. The pictures, the pictures no, that we yeah. saw that that were that on someone your shirt close to you posted. I, I, I read shirt from the chat as I was trying to say pictures. Uh, thank you, login. Anyways, that's neither near here nor near no. near there. Bear. Fair, bear the nair. Bear fair. the nair. Nair the bear. Nair the bear, because we don't want it to have hair. If you nair, uh, so then you would be bear. Yeah. Thus, you cannot bear the nair in On your derriere. Your <laughs> On your derriere? There You've is got no hair there? Ha- unless there is no hair. Not if you nair. Where? On your derriere. Then you're bear on your derriere. <laughs> Please, the details spare. <laughs> I really don't care. I mean, do you dare to nair your derriere? Is that a hair in my underwear? Uh, well, it's, it's so fair. Not there. On my derriere. After you nair. <laughs> no. I really don't care. <laughs> I think this is your high, uh, bad poem moment. Yeah. We have po- poetry about butt hairs. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Kuipers, are you taking notes? There's, there's so many things that you could take clips of already. Please share. 
You're gonna have to ration these out for the week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, I mean, there's like seven of them already, and we're Nuggets like of gold. Ten, mon- ten minutes in. Uh, yeah. Best. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I just noticed that you were gone for the weekend, and I put in like yeah. some hours. I was like, I think I was at 27 hours at the end of the weekend. And then you were like way down. I'm like, ha, I got, I got all the. <laughs> and then you came back home, yeah. and I looked, and you were like, like well, well over thirty. So I was like, it also Dude. helped. I took Monday off work, oh, so nice. I was just like, so you I'm played play thirty hours on Monday. Time. Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, that, I got that's my, how good I am. I got my Tuesday Destiny in. Uh-huh. I got yeah. I got a little Cuphead in this weekend. Okay. Uh, <sighs> obviously, some PUBG. Mm, yeah. I'm over 100 hours now. Good job. Uh, Still no chicken dinner, but good job. What do you? Not a solo chicken dinner. <laughs> That's all that counts. That's true. Whatever. Solo is the only one that counts. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, you don't play yeah, these with friends. Only. I get it. Uh, I mean, uh, no, the solo is the only one that that's counts. That's because if I got a chicken dinner with my friends, I'd I mean, be like, eh, I don't feel that I accomplished shared. it. It's shared. You didn't accomplish right, it. You know? right. So it's like, yeah. I got to solo that chicken dinner for right. it to count. I mean, and that then, one then that you I got played, with Trevor, he he got the final uh, kill. I yeah. killed some Nazis in a game this week, too, but I'll talk about that later more. Uh, Trevor, you still in love with? There's a lot of chat going on about the Cuphead. Uh, yeah, uh, Logan says uh, I haven't seen the sun because of Cuphead, so she must be playing. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it's the game that never ends. It feels like. Yeah, hmm. I mean, I I I definitely still really like uh, Shadow of War, though. It's speaking of games uh, that never end. Uh, it's huh. so good. Well, it is so long too. Like, and and I think my part of my problem too is I haven't really been doing. Like story stuff, I just I just love messing around with the systems, and I'll I've heard just go that that can it. burn you out way more at the end if you yeah. aren't doing story. I don't know. I'm kind of trying to. Well, you have to do story game, to get so. to the end, so it's not yeah. going to burn you out. So well, I'm no, but just, I mean, if you're if you're not doing story and you're putting in a lot of hours, that doesn't. If you're that, trying to do more of the story, I've heard that it can it gets to that grind to get to the very end. It doesn't matter because oh, you yeah. have to do the stories to get to the grind. Like yeah. you have to do the stories to get there, so you can play. He can do what he's doing all he wants. Yeah. But once you get the grind, is like if you weren't using XP bonuses and stuff like that during the story missions, because the story missions are what gets you your XP. So okay. if you get to the end where the grind starts and you haven't been paying to have XP doublers and all this other nonsense, then when you get there, it's really hard because you can't gain XP any other way other than from the stories. So, I mean, what he's doing now gotcha. is fine, but, yeah. yeah. I, I've been, like, well, and then I really love the online vengeance things, uh, the, the vendetta missions, mm-hmm. where you go into somebody's world and you kill, I don't know, it's just so much fun. Because that one, you go, in, like, you actually go into their world? You or? go into their world where it's all their orc captains, and uh, mm. so, I mean, you don't run into, I've found that I usually run into two of their, two other guys, um, besides the main target. And uh, so I, and then I actually was going through, and I was just killing those guys. And then I was like, "This isn't really benefiting me that much." Yeah. And so I was just like, "I'm just going to start killing the main guy." But yeah, I was once I got domination, I just I have a hard time killing any of the orcs then, yeah. because I'm just like, "You could be in my army. I need you in my army." <laughs> I've 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 been kind of picky, partially because I've heard that you should be picky. Yeah, but and, you could just kill them later. Well, Trevor, you don't you're want already them. picky yeah. in general. Well, I I. I kind of try and pick the guys that I either think are really good or that I think are really cool. The latest guy that's my favorite is some, I can't remember. He's he's a Olog, but he's something the blast, and he's uh he's got a flamethrower. He's got epic flame bombs. Wow. He's fireproof. He's got flame traps. He calls in sappers, which are guys that are suicide bombers, and he has a Olog gang that comes with him. So he's basically invincible. How did you how did you get him then? I just found him. What do you mean you found him? But how did you recruit? How did you dominate him? Oh, I you know paid him lots of money. I beat him, but not other people. Oh, you're (laughs) saying you you're good enough, but not the rest. No, I he did say basically. Basically, yeah, Yeah, he's basically. Trevor's like, how much did you pay for him? (laughs) No, I haven't been using the loot box. I I'm less against the loot boxes. I mean, obviously, I don't like the money still paying. But I I have to say, I am a little less against them though, just because I've kind of rationalized it a little bit in my head. But I'm still not probably going to use those most of the time, unless I have to. Just wait, because. you're gonna? Sp- you mean spend money? No, heavens, not spend money. Well, you have to almost use them to get well, like I, some things. I was against him in general because I hate the idea of getting just being given an orc just because you don't meet him. Well, you can still you're use just, them for just like gear if you want. Yeah, and that's probably what I'll end up doing. But um, yeah. uh, Jolfer says, "Don't back down, Trevor." No, it's <laughs> yeah. I'm still very much against the microtransaction part. I still think you it's know, a stupid part of the system, but I. 
I'm less against it if you're not paying money. Yeah. As as far as those go, though, I feel like I've kind of come around from the other side. That as long as it's not something that is going to be keeping you from end game type of stuff or important stuff, if you can still get to all of the key stuff in a game without having to spend any money, I honestly don't care if that stuff's in there because it does help with development money yeah. that's going to make up for a large chunk of areas that some of these bigger companies are yeah. not able to deliver as easily anymore with the money that games are costing well, now. And I I I don't maybe I didn't come across very well in my video, but like I I don't I'm not against bike transactions. I don't mind paying yes, something. I'm against but, Michael. <laughs> yes, Michael transactions sorry, are if, terrible. Sorry if I don't pronounce that very well. I micro transactions. <laughs> uh, no, I like it better. It's like just some Michael guy Michael who shows trans. up and demands money to beat the game. <laughs> hey, pay up! You got you. Uh, oh, you hear knocking the door? Oh, <laughs> who's there? Oh crap! I was about to beat Shadow of War. Dang it. It's like, no! Hey, uh, hey, this is Michael. Michael uh, transactions. <laughs> Michael. Tra uh, gotta pay me before you can keep playing. Yeah, you want to beat this game? It's gonna be fifty dollars. <laughs> my my main problem though is the the random element. If you're paying money, I think you should get what you want. Yeah, Just I I agree with I, that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, unless it's something that doesn't. Um, but you're getting the, what you paid for. Well, no, but I I, what he, I think what he means is if it's if it feels more like you're gambling. Yeah. For something that can be a higher like different level of things so i mean if it's like yeah. a shader or something then sure you know that you're buying shaders and there's a chance that you may get one type or another that doesn't bother me the same way as like if you are paying for a box and you could get normal crap or mm -hmm. so you're not a an exotic then, type of thing saying. i think here's when you're when you're playing something like that i don't it's i think my biggest problem with it is not i mean i really i mean i'm for one i I mean, it's it's different and it's new and it's like I don't really like some of the thing. You know, like an old man in me is like, yeah, <laughs> shaking yeah. There's a stick. definitely you that kids. part of it. But See, I think I'm totally I, I think the part that I dislike the most is not the fact that they're there. Okay, here's one thing: I don't necessarily consider it gambling because unless it's on Steam, I feel like Steam it could be because you could sell those things for monetary gain. Where, okay. I like that because I do that. Where on well, like on a console game, you can't sell that and cash out like you. You there is no you just lose that money like it mm -hmm. goes into the game and that's it. You spend the money. So it's but I do feel like the systems are built on like a predatory system. Yeah. That mm -hmm. that that is preying on people that do have maybe an addictive tendency mm -hmm. and that's not gonna affect everybody that way. Like I can for the most part go. Ah, I don't. I maybe I'll spend like maybe like on Destiny. I bought one of the glow glowy dust packs whatever they're yeah. called because sure. i was like i was curious to see what that was like so i was like ah, i'll see what that's like ah, okay it's not really worth it i'm i'm done mm -hmm. but i think the predatory side of it is what bothers me the most because you look at like companies like blizzard who have actual like psychologists on staff mm -hmm. to figure yeah. out how people are triggered and what they just tweak everything just right like they're 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 tracking their accounts they're going okay if this person okay we haven't give given trevor you know what he wants he keeps playing this and he's really wanting to unlock this certain <laughs> orc so we might lose him here so go watch give him what he wants and then then he'll come back because he's gonna get the, that the dopamine hit and then mm -hmm. he's gonna like so well that's what so, so it's just like a it's just like a casino yeah. in that way so in that way i do see it as gambling but it's not yeah. it's not but i don't think it actually is def, could be defined as gambling because you're not reaping monetary benefits from no you know it'd be I mean? hard to define it and as you're gambling, still technically yeah. getting something out of the box it's not a i mean it's not like you're playing a slot machine where you put in a coin and you probably aren't going to get anything you know yeah well so, did you did you see the uh there was the microtransaction thing that uh activision uh patented Mm -mm. Sorry, this week Trevor's dying. Good grief, <laughs> Trevor! What? Whenever it's he goes to talk, he's like, "I got I, 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 you guys." It's that Taco I'm Bell. Not, I'm not used to opening um, my mouth. I'm on the internet. No. No. I'm Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, but the the thing they the idea they patented, which it seems crazy to me that they can patent this something this general, but uh, to where it's if you, who patented what? Activision patented this uh, system to where it's it'll. Okay, it'll, it'll determine that this some this is something that you might want oh, or something, yeah. um, and so then it will pair you in with somebody who has that item. 
So you see it. So you see it. Yeah. And then uh, the next step, if you buy it, it will put you into, it will match make you into, <clears throat> sorry, match make you into a situation where that will be very a uh, useful item. Oh, yeah. It's where you'll feel good that you bought that. Mm-hmm. But right. then if you don't, it just puts you, it just chooses a new item and it just keeps that circle. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it, just, they're, yeah. they're, they're preying on you. I mean, yeah. that's what they, and they know they are. But it, but then we have this argument too where it's like, is it bettering the developer? Is it a way for them to make it? Because I mean, we're yeah. looking at, at a, we're at a place where, these triple A titles cost way more money than yeah they, yeah it is true than they used to, and <laughs> with, and development time is insane and like mm-hmm. we've got these these stories coming out of CD Projekt Red like uh, where you know people maybe are not so happy with the way they were treated um, right while, while they worked on The Witcher Three and other games like that so it's like you the development is really rough and you know mm-hmm. you got to keep these people employed you got to so it's like if there's a way that it, it's it's hard for me to, you know, it's not going to ever be dictated this way, but it does seem like it seems fairer or mm-hmm. more fair when it's only cosmetic. Like, yeah. like yeah. the way Destiny handles it or the yeah. way other games where it's just like, or even PUBG to a certain extent, it doesn't, mm-hmm. you can't, it can't make you better at the game because you have hot pants. I mean, it makes you sexier. Right. Doesn't make you better. Makes you easier to spot, so yeah. you die more often. Yeah, as far yeah. as like the loot box True. stuff, I've been Destiny was pretty okay. Um, I mean, I still don't like the random system, but like Destiny did it pretty well, I thought. Yeah. Um, and then I, I mean, I I mentioned in the video too that I I really like the way GTA does it, just because it just seems to work. Well, but they're just so, like well, there's a credit yeah, card. Well, yeah. The, re- the reason sure that G- the reason that GTA works is because number one, you know exactly what you're getting. Mm-hmm. It is a straight cash system Mm -hmm. so you literally are buying yourself in-game currency Mm -hmm. that you can then go and buy the exact plane or tank or whatever it is you know you know all that's up front so it's like Mm -hmm. right that plane is a million in-game currency or whatever and it's like and that's the one i want so i'll go pay yeah so i can i can try and go do missions and save up the money or i can just pay for it right now and get it that way Mm -hmm. But you're not pulling a lever, and it's, right. it's not no. chance. Yeah, you know, there's no. That yeah, that's and it's like I I do think maybe at at one time maybe early on GTA Online wasn't wasn't very fair just because the the way to get money wasn't as good as it should be, but I feel like at this point now it's you can get plenty of money without spending money. Yeah. But then if you want to have it real fast, you can spend the money. So. Right. But. <laughs> I'm cool so with there's. It. Yeah, good. I think I think I've good. I've come around. I think it's it's it depends on how it's done. Yeah. So I, I mean, I think that there are right ways to do it, and obviously there are some ways that developers are trying to do it that doesn't feel as good. But, um, but, but to that's, them, that is the right way because it makes money. Yeah, yeah, but so, that doesn't mean that it's. It, I mean, it's, that's a very subjective thing. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, but it's, it's subjective. Only if you're saying it only matters for their side of things, I mean, and not I, for the I consumer think side of things. Terrible that a Tesla, you know, costs a ton of money because I don't have that much money. Yeah, Jeremy, I think I that's different. I, no, I, different. I generally agree with you, but I'm just I think the difference is you shouldn't make the game unbeatable mm. if without spending on micro tra- Michael transactions is what I'm saying. <laughs> you shouldn't require the tr- microtransactions right. to beat a game. If they, they do yeah. that, that's skeezy, and they oh, should be upfront about it. I agree. It. It's questionable, and they should be upfront about it. I think if they are upfront about it, though, then you know what you're getting into. Don't play the game if you don't like exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. But they're not upfront about it. That's no. the way. That was the problem with Shadow of War, okay. is they haven't been completely upfront about how hard that grind is at the end. And no. I think that's, no, not at all. Yeah. And I think that's what's bothering people about yeah. it. So it's like, I'm okay. I get it. If this is the world we live in now, where we have to live with Michael, yeah. Mr. But, Michael but again, transactions, though, if, if the, barging if, in all if the they time. they say, if people lash out about it, then they'll stop doing it if uh, it's no longer monetized. I mean, but doesn't work for them. Yeah, Nobody, but I think because there's enough whales out there that are going to take it. Well, and yeah, then, to where it's not going to matter. They can, you can, the the public can cry, but it can take one like financial trader who has so much money that it the, microtransactions doesn't bother him at all. He can sit there and spend an, another thousand yeah. dollars on a game. Yeah, and not that's why. So here's the thing: maybe a solution. I mean, for they've like, been doing that on phone games forever. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of where that's came from. Yeah. But I think like if it is, if they are going to continue with like the predatory psychological aspect of it, the ESRB or somebody should step in and yeah. just say, hey. At least show people how much they've spent, mm-hmm. because there's yeah. people, you know. I mean, at least put like, hey, you've put in like, 
you've put in fifty dollars to this game already, and then like it, just, yeah. it doesn't have to say don't do it. It just kind of gives them a tally because I think that'll help people yeah. who maybe have a problem like, with like oh gosh, <laughs> I, I get Jeremy's Jeremy's coming from the libertarian viewpoint of yeah. the, uh, people who need to be responsible for themselves and who cares? Yeah, Nobody but, can babysit them, and it's their own stupid fault if they it's spend. Not the money. who cares? I mean, but I'm just saying like it's it could be. I could see like if it's going to be a problem. I mean, like, the more you hold someone's hand, the more you have to hold someone's hand. Unless you let go, but yeah, true. That well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I get it. It's it's a, it's a it's a slippery slope argument, I guess. But it's like I don't, I don't know. It's just I think for me, I the biggest problem I have is don't make it a requirement to beat a video game. I yeah. shouldn't have to pay you more than I paid you mm-hmm. to beat a video game. Like if right. I want extra pretty, you know, orc underwear, that's fine. <laughs> but I also think it shouldn't I be should. something that that really vastly can give somebody an advantage over someone else if it is a competitive type of oh, game. Oh, yeah, 100%. Same because thing. because then then that's something where somebody can can go and pay and it just makes it no fun if you can't or if you if you don't want to pay or don't have the ability to pay um to to then take away the the fun for the person that has but already like, spent the money in, in the, the game. the same argument, you know, I own a car but it's not as much fun as someone who has a better car. So what? He, yeah, but a game is yeah, meant to be competitive. It's not meant. It's to meant to have a level yeah. playing field. So right. you're saying that you're you're saying that games. I'm should saying all, if you know it, then it's different. If you don't, I totally agree. So you're saying it should all games should be like Star Citizen? Then no, I'm saying that they can be. <laughs> or you can go and buy if, all your cool ships and watch the little plebs fly float around. And I think that is a. Ships that I think that the, is a. Star Citizen jokes aside, I think that's a viable. Okay, that's fine. for a game developer that's fine. to do. I'll be upfront it about works. it. Be upfront about it. I, I agree yeah. that you should be upfront about your practices. If, if that's what if, if 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 you can say, hey, this game, you can have a completely. I mean, you look at like Clash of Clans, and you know what? right? Like that game. But you know on, what? On phones, I'm right? not going to buy that game. I'm not going to well, play exactly. that game. If but, it's going to be that way, a ton way, of people play it. will, yeah. and they're totally okay fine. spending the money. Do it. So that doesn't make it a bad game. But it just makes it a game you don't want to play. But it shouldn't. It shouldn't impact the way that it. It is. I would ar- oh, but that game. Clash of Clans money totally impacts you. But I would game. argue that makes it 100%. a bad game. That makes I would it argue. a bad game. Well, again, argue. that's what I'm saying. That's subjective. It is, though, but I would because argue because a ton of people say that game's awesome. I mean, yeah, but the people that say that it's wrestling. awesome are the people that have the money that that they can just throw at it or, or are okay throwing it at it. Whereas uh, that's not always the case. It, it is the case. The people that enjoy that game are the people <laughs> that are spending money on it daily. Okay. I mean, I I've played Clash of Clans and it's. I mean, to me, it's a hot dumpster, but I I get that some people like. I to played it on. when it first came out. Yeah. You know, I just I enjoyed it for a time because there was some there was some uh, planning to playing the game. Yeah, you um, you and all the other but, pro wrestlers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'll, I mean, my my dad he loves the game. He doesn't pay any money on it though because he's against doing that. Instead, he's like, "This is great for me because it forces me not to play the game too often." Because I have to wait for the game to get me more monetization because I'm not going to pay to get it faster. So really, it helps him not play the game too much, but he enjoys that. It's just once you hit that point where you're constantly losing every battle because everybody put more money in it. Everybody else put more money in it, yeah. Yeah, or you lose lose the fun. So uh, I'm thirsty, Kuipers. Anybody else playing anything? I mean, is that all you're playing is Shadow I've, of Mordor? I, I started playing South Park, uh, The Fractured Butthole. Ooh. Uh, that's it. It's that game. I, I mean, I get it. People don't maybe don't like South Park. That's fine. But that it's just a really well-made RPG. I, I mean, I don't uh, – if you don't like the humor, you probably wouldn't enjoy it too, too much. But if you like Stick of Truth, it's a much improved version of – Stick of truth. Kyle once went to so, another round, uh, sir. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's I've only got a little ways into it, but I can. It's just everything. The, everything like my complaints from the first game. You can tell they've kind of just polished off the edges and just made it a uh, better game. The voice acting is good. It's it's childish humor, but uh, I is mean, it I as would like to. Is there cartoon? I mean, political. That's a stretch to call South Park political. Yeah. <laughs> like it can get that way. I mean, yeah, but they never choose a side. No, exactly. They, they they just make fun of everybody. So yeah, it's not right. like I mean, they're gonna they're gonna make fun of any Hillary just as much as Trump. They're gonna yeah. make fun of yeah. you know nobody. I mean, sure they get. I mean, poli- not anymore because she's not funny anymore. Well, no, but oh, I, we got something. So, uh, but that was get back, Kuipers. Hurry, Kuipers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are you?
are you uh, doing, Kuypels? You get a job. Open up, shut up. Just followed us. Thank you hey. very much for hey, the follow. Thanks. We really appreciate that. Um, uh, they, they asked in the chat a little bit ago, you guys review games that are still in development? If we can. Not really. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I've been playing another game uh, just a little bit here and there. Um, That's in development? Yeah, it's early access, and I'm not supposed to talk about it. Mm. It's the pirate game. Oh, <laughs> so that's you know, not no, really I, so no, I'm not talking that's about not it. That's not really a reviewed can't. game that's still yeah. in that's development. That's what I mean. You, but I can't note, review it. I I actually totally got an invite to that game. Nice. Wow. And I forgot to do it this weekend. Oh. <laughs> I was so mad at myself. Well, it's open every weekend now. Lame. Is it every? If once you're once you're in, once you're once you're one of the the testers, oh, nice. it's open every okay. weekend for play. Anyway, good. Yeah, I want to. I want to give uh, the fractured butthole a try. Um, the fractured. I bet butthole. you do. That's what I said. The fractured <laughs> butthole. Uh, no, it. It's it, it's funny because it. I mean, it plays on the comic book thing. It makes fun of the Marvel franchises. Sure. A lot, like a lot of your superpowers are based around farts. Uh, I mean, it's just like a lot of that stuff. It's dumb. It's it's irreverent, but it's really well made. It's just it's like. It's like you're in the game. I mean, it's like you're in the TV show. It's uh, right. It's I, I don't know. I can't. I mean, I'm trying to think of like. It's hard for me to be. I mean, the, if I was to be objective about it at all, and it would be that the that the humor does sometimes even for me, which I don't mind some of the like real uh, petty humor. It sometimes sure. just gets a, maybe a little too childish sometimes. But it is. It's fun. I think I think that's one that I I eventually am going to get. It's one of those things that there's just so many games that are coming up soon. Nah, just that, play them all. That's the oh, solution. Uh, I, so, I mean, I uh, want to play them all. No, that's what just I'm play saying. them all now. I'm, just don't, I'm sorry no, of your excuses. I'm, I'm saying, sorry of your excuses. I'm Kyle. saying I'm not nope. going to sacrifice. No, nope, play them all. Games that will be better right nope. now. Divorce your wife. Play them all for that one. No, it has nothing to sell, do with my wife. Sell your house. Jeez. Play them all. Okay, I'll sell my house and that's live a, in a that's tent a with idea. a TV and a, a generator. That's, live in Jeremy's basement. Play them all. He invited okay. you to live in. I'll play no. them all. Sounds we good. Stopped. Quit your job. That's what I heard. Quit we your job. Stopped. We stopped uh, having live-ins. The only thing you do. Quit. Don't sleep. Quit. Quit. Okay. You got to play all games. Well, I did play some games this week. What'd you play? Um, I, after last week talking about it, um, or maybe it was two weeks ago, we were talking about the, the free game on Xbox Gone Home, which I'd never played before. Um, and I played through that, which was really interesting. I didn't, I mean, it's... Which game is it? Gone Home. Oh, you! Have, oh, okay. I hadn't played it before, so I I was like, I might as well play this now. It's a short game, and I played it in one sitting, and it was, I mean, it was like watching a movie almost. That you're just kind of walking through you, the house. You were it interacting. Was, you were with interacting the movie. with the movie. It was really cool, and I think I am way more sold on a lot of those types of games than I ever have been. Um, I think it it has to tell a good story. Yeah, and it, it does that. It's not. Yeah, it, it does. If you're in, if you're, and I think that's. I mean, and we talked about that a lot because I know you. That's a big part of gaming for you is you want to enjoy a story, and I do too. I do, but I yeah. think, but I think like something like that where maybe it's not. It's not as, and I'm not. I'm not referring to your tweet. I just now thought of that as I about to say it's not skill based because I saw you tweeting about how <laughs> oh. crappy you are at Cuphead. But I am not, the it literally. <laughs> I, Cuphead <laughs> makes me feel like I should this, never play a video game ever this, again. This wasn't intended to be a that's jab. what makes me love that a, game. A jab at you, but well, I, was just saying, I know. I'm I, just saying that Gone Home is one of those games where like you don't have to be t- a twitchy gamer. Yeah, you can you can still enjoy video games and it just want to come for. A really I don't have story. to worry about getting caught on a specific spot where I'm gonna spend an hour or to an hour and a half trying to get through it that's cuphead and though that's kind that of is cuphead. cuphead you guys have gone to the pool on the second island right to Th- show you how many times you've died yeah it's a lot it's, <laughs> there's a lot it. of deaths sorry shadow or okay. yeah, shadow, shadow war came out and i, I yeah i, 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 I so quit much. playing um <laughs> i have to go home and play it all the time i tried i didn't get to play it tonight and so i, I also tried playing was, that uh the, the hamster turing, hunting turing test that other oh, one that, that was on xbox all it, the screenshots of it look like hey look at these Great corridors with nothing in them. Yeah, it, <laughs> I didn't. I, like, I oh, didn't fun. play it very long. It's a puzzle game. It felt like some of what they did was take some of the ideas of Portal, um, because you're kind of opening doors with different mechanics. But it was there were a couple of spots where it was just not very, or, or maybe I was just kind of dumb as I was trying to get through it that I could not figure out how to get past a room. Um, and I just was kind of like, eh, I've, I've seen enough of this game to know, and maybe I'll go back at some point, but um, there's, 
it just is, doesn't seem like there is a whole lot that's there. Yeah. Um, it seems like a pretty undercooked game. Yeah, I mean, and it's, it's, gotten, it's gotten good. good reviews, it's gotten really yeah. good reviews. Mm. Um, they, they, they just need to take better screenshots. It also <laughs> it also <laughs> seemed like it it was dropping some some frames as I was going. Mm. Um, so there was a couple of spots where it just kind of felt like it was just real herky jerky. Microsoft Christ. sell yeah uh, Xbox One X. I guess. So, <laughs> <it's okay. laughs> Oh, gosh, that's so sinister. <laughs> but uh, potentially true. Uh, yeah. Ooh, you suck. Maybe. Microsoft. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no, Trevor. Trevor oh, does. Trevor We've only does. spent 35 minutes at the top of the show. Should we jump into like, the I games of the week? I think it's because we got into all the goats and the others. Well, and then I got talking about There's a lot to talk about this week. Do not get into goats. Yes. Games of the week. We know you can't wait to get your grubby little hands on them. Way to keep us going, intern. Good job. <laughs> Uh, all right. Two points for, for Kuipers on that one. <laughs> He's like, this is it. I'm sick of them talking about this stuff. There's a lot of Show games. A lot of games. I went out of my way to find all the games this week to yes, make thank tr- you. Trevor work that. very hard. To find all the th- nice. I saw earlier this week, I was like, oh, this list we usually pull from only has like three games. That's not enough. <laughs> we need to find all the games. And then I realized Nintendo Switch... Okay, I want to say something about this real quick at the top of the show. I just It's just an observation. It's not the top of the show anymore. It's the top of this segment. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the top of this segment. I... When this, when the when the iPhone got the App Store, you noticed like all like it was like gold, like gold mine, like just like gold country, like people mm-hmm. were you know the gold rush. That's what I meant to say. But people are just like developers coming out and making all these crappy games, yeah, uh, and selling them and trying to just shovel wear everywhere because it's like it, people are desperate for content because there's this new thing. And everybody's downloading everything because there's just not enough out there. And it's like the Switch. So you're is, saying there's a vacuum on the Switch. It is there right now. It is at its. I mean, I don't know if it's at its peak, but it's got to be getting close uh, because there are so many games releasing almost <laughs> daily in some instances. Uh, and so this. Uh, and I, I mean, that could say something to how simplistic it is now for third party developers oh, to get up. I mean, they say third party? Third party. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, and, like and speci- specifically indie developers, too, <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. So they're able to yeah. get... Nintendo's been very friendly indie, indie mm. friendly. Uh, I think that Nintendo ha- may have found their way to succeed with the, with indie games and then their own... Yeah. Their own games. They don't need to have the big triple-A titles. I mean, they're they're their getting game, some, I mean, but... their games are, are pretty good, but they've always kind of had, like, a steady click of when they release games. And yeah. so... They've That's, got they're, they're very spread out and right. far few and far between. But this, which is why I'm saying that it seems like with the indie games and their their big games, yeah, it's j- just the right mix. Well, and if you look at the if you look at the top selling games, like only like a couple of them are actual Nintendo, like first party games. So right. it's, it's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, a lot of these are on the Switch. This uh, coming out October 18th, uh, That's which tomorrow. would be tomorrow, right? Well, only one. Yeah. No, that's today. Oh, that's today. Yep. One of them came out today. Putty Pals. Grab your kids and play with your putty. Is that like putt putt? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. A lot of golf. Another golf game? I don't know. Uh, then the, the 19th, which is tomorrow, there's a whole slew of games coming out. We got Spelunky Par- Spelunker Party. Not Ooh, Spelunky. Go no. cave diving. I don't know what that is, but there's Spelunking is random is cats. Going the cats caves. look the most realistic. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it looks, looks weird. Decide then the, the Count Lucanor. Or Lucanor. Or Lucanor. Lucanor? I don't know. Uh, Lucanor. Lucanor. Uh, I don't know what this is. That looks like there's a, an the, evil person. Just download them all, And a Kyle. goat. Just there's a goat. Them. Kyle, download them all. Download there's them. a goat. <laughs> download it's them. probably a devil goat. And a crow. You, Kyle, you got to play all these games. Uh, I'm probably not going to play, play, play them all. Sorry. Okay, I'll play them all. We're playing them all. Them all. <laughs> party all g- of them. Party golf. Another party golf, golf game. Yay, party golf. Bananas? If I can golf bananas... Then you know. I mean, that game is bananas. Uh, then J- Jige, Jige. <laughs> How do you say this game? Not it's, judge. It's like the word judge, but with Jinch. a Y. Is I that, think is it's like trying well, to but be he like, is a ju- it's, This is total knockoff of Judge Dread. That's what yeah. I was. That's thinking. what it is. Yeah. That guy's got a mask. But it's a he's Y, got the, not a U. Isn't he's that got a the D? weight. That's not it. Oh, it's a backwards G. Yeah, it's a J. Because what? No, oh, it's a yeah. J. Oh, <laughs> it's a backwards. It's a backwards uh, G it, and a really it long U. Like a D. Yeah. G. Anyway. G. 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 Okay. G. Then Elliot Quest is out, which I don't know what that's about, but it looks uh, pixely. Sixteen bit. It's pixely. Uh, that's Elliot's quest. Elliot quest. It'll have that kind of tune. Um, 
super ping pong trick shot. Mm. So ah. Japanese in nature. Uh, sounds fun. You'll probably shots. have to not see your screen and throw something with your HD rumble. Revenant Saga is also out on the 19th. Looks bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also Japanese. It'll it'll sell though. All right. Because the, there's cleavage on the 20th, uh, which is Friday, I believe. Is Fire Emblem Warriors? That's going out on the Switch and the 3DS. That's going to be pretty good, I'm sure. I'm Kite, sure there's more Kite, to play. I've seen some initial reviews, and uh, I'm sure there's more cleavage in that game too. Nah, if it's anything like Kyle, Fire Emblem, no, it's if, down, if it's anything Kyle. like the mobile game was, oh, oh really? Kyle's just oh. Yeah. If it's got cleavage, then I'll play them all. all no, I got rid cleavage. of it. I got rid of it. Uh, let's sing 2018. Uh, that looks like a great time. <laughs> I, does it come with that microphone? <laughs> Further, is she holding the microphone backwards? <laughs> I, don't, I think she's singing That's a great into a Campbell's I, soup can. She's, she's not, not even like singing; she's just <laughs> smiling with her mouth open. All three of them uh, have different microphones. I know. They're like <laughs> Dirt. that means it's for everybody. Now, so the developer was like, "Oh, we took, we found three stock photos of people singing. We put them together." <laughs> and then the guy's like, oh, "Make it more ethnic." They come back, got three stock you photos. You don't have no time for birthday. Just tell me one more time, girl. I'd rather lie and die, girl. No more time for birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why you played that. I'll yeah. play that. It's a singing. I'd, I'd it's play that game. game. I'd no. play that game. <laughs> oh, okay. Tap faster. Uh, so <laughs> there's uh, <laughs> Siberia that's coming out on the Switch on October 20th. Which is this, this game is this out a Tomb Raider game? It's been out on PC and other no, for like forever. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a while. She kind of looks like it's an adventure she, game. Uh, then Lara's let's see. sister. More Switch games. Oh no, that's it. That's all the Switch games. There. Uh, well, there's more later. October 20th on PS4 is Abyss, The Wraiths of Eden. Wraiths. Oh, there's a Kraken. Uh, that looks dangerous. Uh-huh. Is Phil, he got one arm? Phil Meyer Kraken. Uh, it does look like he's got one arm. No, no, the other one just has a really long sleeve. He's pretending his hand got cut off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a jokester, Wraith. Yeah. Uh, Real Farm is on PS4 October 20th. Ooh. I wonder there if you this go. Is this better than, than <clears throat> Farm Simulator? I don't I'm know. actually kind of... Excited for Farm Sim to come for its Switch because <laughs> I've always wanted to play those games, but I've never been dedicated enough to, yeah. to buy it for like I know, a I console. Th- or I, I thought about picking this up for PS4 just because I was curious what Real Farm is like. Yeah. Uh, have you have you played the other one, the other far, one? Farm no, Simulator? I played it at a GameStop. Was it a demo? Was it? Uh, I drove a tractor. Yeah, is that is that all it is? I is driving like, a tractor? Yeah, I was like, holy <laughs> crap! This is what it feels like to be Jeremy. It's like a really. <laughs> <laughs> it's these games are really just there to, to to teach the next generation of farmers. It's like a really slow. It's like, hey, dad, this is game. what you do all day. This is what yep, it's like to have all this do, equipment. Uh huh. You have to know how to properly mix the fertilizer. Uh huh. Can yeah, we, I played we, the game uh, and I instantly just started calling people city slickers <laughs> yes. and started ta- talking pretentiously about killing chickens like I'm some sort of superhero. Now, can you upgrade uh, this to uh, <laughs> use a flux capacitor? Maybe. What? And I don't garbage? know why, why. I don't know. I mean, just like other other means of, of what? fuel. Why? Why? Talking, what? Are you it's talking some about? futuristic game now. No, I, are you talking about the Mister Fusion? I mean that the picture even He's, has a picture that has, of that tractor is. Yeah, from I think like that's what 90s. I meant, Trevor. Mister Fusion has nothing Fusion. to do with the flux. You're right; it doesn't have anything to do with the flux capacitor. <laughs> I, I was just no trying idea. to get there. I all mean, right? you're being a bad nerd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're being a bad <laughs> all right. bird. October twenty fourth, we've got Destiny two coming out on PC. <laughs> so if you like your Destiny pretty. Uh, Jeremy, going to start over on no. PC? Yeah, uh, he is. No. <laughs> Just He's Dance. Just scratch that Just itch. Dance 2018 is on PS4, Xbox One, PC. Wow, that looks like the worst. That's Kuiper's favorite game. I couldn't game. decide if this was actually. Did you find fan art for this, I Trevor? Th- that does I think not it's look official. real. I yeah. Think, I think it's looks fan terrible. art. Yeah. It looks worse than the other ones just that because my art. kids have played I the last one. I mean, this is a like... screenshot, but then someone put their own text over it. So it's probably a YouTube channel. Good thing, job, so. Trevor. So, yeah, good job, Trevor. I was Trevor. really tired. I, I didn't have much Hidden time. Hidden Agenda. Ooh, you suck. Hidden Agenda on PS4, October 24th. That's really dark. I didn't know. I don't know. Yeah, that this looks actually like, looks kind of cool. This is is, a, that, is that a police officer? Yeah. Okay. But this looks like it's almost like, uh, like Jackbox games, except 
with the story that's going on. This is where this is part it's of that PlayStation uh, everyone thing where you have to have the app on your phone. Like, oh, probably yeah. yeah. So can you buy Just this like so we that. can play it during it Extra Life? I kind of want to try it. All right, cool. Yeah. Trevor's it's, buying it so we can play it, guys. Well, it's it's the same system they use for that other game. That one. Oh, we it's played. one of the Play Link. That's okay. You. Yeah. yeah so that's you. Yeah. That's you. So everybody you. can kind of. So somebody's a murderer. This would be good for that, actually. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah. it. Would. Yeah, yeah. Trevor's one. buying. Trevor's buying. <laughs> somebody's buying. <laughs> uh, uh, I heard you commit. So did everyone else. They want to see Oct- it. During. All right, let's get through these. The October 24th is the Mummy Demastered. PS4, Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. Uh, October 24th. Now we got a couple more Switch games. This is The Police, uh, which that looks, looks kind of fun. Is that about yeah. the band? That was already, that's already out yeah. on PC. Steam. Yeah. A lot PC. of these are. Yeah, a lot of yeah. these. Yeah. Then uh, Night Terrors, spelled, spelled with a K, though. Like a knight. Uh, night Terrors on the Switch October 24th. That wraps it up. There's a lot of games coming out on your Switch. I wouldn't recommend men buying most of them except for Kyle. <laughs> Kyle needs to play them all. Uh, but then... You guys pick the ones that look good, which not mm-hmm. not me. Which yet. which ones look good? I don't know. They'll, they'll Fire Emblem Warriors looks like it could be kind of fun. Send Kyle an email. This, this is the police was free on Xbox a yeah. couple months ago. No, what? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. Keeping you in the loop with the latest gaming news. First story come from IGN.com. It says EA refocuses Amy Hennig Star Wars game. Visceral Games is closing. Oh, that's bullcrap. Screw Stupid you, EA. Yeah. So EA is eliminating Visceral Games. They have decided that they are going to be pivoting with the Star Wars game, uh, which wasn't supposed to come out until... Pivoting. Uh, they, I think they jargon. If I ever yeah, heard I think they said 2019 which could mean even stretching into 2020 before that game would come out. Um, which, again, I think kind of fits into that idea of um, is this something that the lack of uh, or the, the presence of a lot of these um, microtransactions could be killing off a lot of the really good first-person type of games um, that we've seen because this was supposed to be first a first person. What do you mean? Well, no, this, this was supposed, supposed to be. This is a third person game. Or, uh, uh, you're right. Solo mission is what I meant. Uh, like oh, a like solo, uh, first solo player. campaign. Solo player That's what I meant. Like I'm Han sorry. Single solo. player. Yeah, single okay. player. Like a Han solo game. Yeah, like a solo single. Like a. Ooh, you suck. Like a really creative movie title. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get Tomorrow to that night. later. Yeah, no talking about Star Wars and Trevor. Wait, yeah. he tricked us. We're talking about Star Wars. Oh, <laughs> Trevor, you jerk. Um, yeah, so they they're saying that this may be something that they are going to pivot into more of a multiplayer type of game that may f- fall into the lines of like a Destiny. So basically, um, their storyline sucked. That's what a lot. Well, it doesn't mean it, that the storyline sucked. It no, was, it does. It was no. Amy Hennig, so it was probably going to be really good. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah. it probably was. It means, what it means is that they are probably looking at everything and saying, hey, there is so much money that we're already investing in this because they've been working on this game for how many? Is it, it's already two or three years that it's they've been so working on it. So they can add it. microtransactions. It's, it's because they focus tested the crap out of it. Mm-hmm. And everybody's right. like, we want open world games. Yeah. And right. so then they're just like, oh, we better not make this linear. Yeah. But, I mean, you're already talking about having paid people for, for a couple of years to be working on the start of this game. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so yeah, I don't. Um, I don't. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a weird thing because it's like I don't I don't want to see all linear single player games go away. I mean, no, Uncharted yeah. is like some Uncharted of my favorite great, games, yeah. but even they kind of pivoted with the last one because they tried to kind of toy with yeah. a little bit of right. open world with that game. So but. I mean, this this is kind of scary because EA is one of the bigger companies, if not the biggest companies out there making triple a titles and if they're not able to see any value in those types of games that could be a really bad sign for people that like those games so i I don't know it's it's really weird and i mean it's it's one of those things that maybe it's because they are a public company as well so since they've got stock that makes a difference with how they're they're being built uh but i mean like eric was talking about a, a lot of other companies that have said you know, there's there's issues making these types of games. Um, it, it could be a problem. Thanks yeah. for following Brunru001. Brunru001 just followed us. Thank you very Thank much. You. We do Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, yes. Um, Kuiper's cam art didn't happen. Is all Ugh. I gotta say. Uh, uh, no. Uh, thank you for the question in the chat. <laughs> Average Chase asked us if uh, uh, if we were uh, all circumcised. I think the, the, the general consensus was yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're you're welcome for that information that we didn't really have to share, but we do because we care. You're welcome. Uh, I mean, thank our parents, really. Uh, yeah. Or blame them. I mean, take your pick. Uh, and he also asked if I donate fifty dollars to each shirt. I want you all to take them off. Probably not. Probably not going to um, happen. Yeah, because mm-hmm. we can't show We've our nipples got stickers. Off. We could all put pasties on first. Oh, that's true. Would we not get oh. banned then? Yeah, I think we wouldn't. Oh, that. Oh, Kuiper's get the, the stickers. He's, oh, <laughs> this guy's no. really hairy. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, uh, anyways. Um, yeah, so it's a bummer. I really want to. have an idea. I didn't know where to Whoa. turn. Mail Kuiper. time. You. Oh, that was my arm. Sorry. Your arm. Oh, blame in the intern. I am innocent this time. <laughs> what did I touch it for? <laughs> you, your <laughs> arm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer to see this game not happen. I mean, yeah. I guess everybody uh, wants m- more loot boxes. The other thing is they haven't really said where she's going to go. Um or what her project is going to be? Have they said she actually departed? Though they haven't. S- no. I don't think. I'm wondering said if they're just departed. moving her over to this project. I'm guessing that she is still going to be involved with the project, which is which will be good news if that's the case. So um, okay, all right. Uh, let's see. We're running out of time, so we're gonna skip this next story. It's kind of interesting. Let's just hit on it real quick. We'll do, go switch the slides. Kuiper is fine. Just real quick. Uh, this isn't much of a story. It's kind of interesting. I think that Sony's releasing an indie game on the Nintendo Switch. I, I thought maybe Teddy would be here tonight to be triggered, uh, <laughs> but he's not. So that's, Dang it. So since he's gone, it's really not worth spending time on. Uh, but no, it is an interesting story uh, that, you know, they're, I, th- I think they're seeing the success of the Switch, and yeah. they're like, oh, we should have made a console as good as the Switch. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> I mean, if, <laughs> that if, if nothing else, it just, it just kind of verifies what you were saying earlier about how, how it's a gold, well... The, it's a gold rush right yeah. now for that type of games. Uh, next story comes from romper.com. It says studies... Uh, pfft, I'm sorry. <laughs> Trevor, you and the images. <laughs> sorry. Trevor has a picture of like a 12-year-old oh. with a gun and knife and a headset. And he looks like he's screaming about the murder. And he's yeah. holding both of them wrong. Well, now read, now read the headline so that everybody <laughs> knows what headline. this is about. This is from romper.com. It says, study says playing video games might help younger kids overcome racial biases, <laughs> but also make them murderers. Yeah. <laughs> I took some liberties. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. So a he's little playing bit. Call of Duty, right? Yeah. I think so. Because I feel like that's everyone you talk to online in Call of Duty. Yeah, and they're just throwing out racial slurs at you the mm-hmm, whole time. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. that's that kid. Uh, no, there, there's uh, been a study that's been done that's that's saying that this is something that could potentially help, um, especially children in areas that don't always... Um, interact with other races or other other people groups, um, and help eliminate negative emotions um, and own race individuals with positive emotion. So it's like at the beginning of PUBG when everyone who's obviously English speaking says "China number one," like that. Anyone else hear that? It's not at all game? like that, Jeremy. Huh. No, no. I hear oh, it when you that? do it, Jeremy. I, uh. I'm just. That's what I, I guess, because it's easy. That, to, to I don't know what that was even a that. What? Uh. So, anyways, what what are they? So this tr- is this wh- is something wh- that is trying to help kids eliminate labeling other other race individuals by their racial label. Oh, the opposite um, of that. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Um, the, the idea is that they, they said that they have, uh, there was a, uh, test that they used that they were saying that after, uh, going through this, if they'd given, uh, they said, if we give 10 children, uh, other race faces and train them to individuate them, their racial bias against this particular racial group would be reduced. And this reduction would be long lasting if it's something that they are, are, continuing which is very interesting and, and actually uh kind of almost fortifies the idea that that there does c- need to continue to be more diversity put into games um especially if that is something that can uh, help kids that are that are growing up and and are playing games now too 
Yeah, I, I, I think it's a weird it's a weird line to draw and say there needs to be diversity. Like, I think there needs to be good stories, and if the, mm-hmm. if and it, like to back up diversity, sure. like if you if you put a, a, someone of a different ethnic background into a game just to do it, or a different uh, gender just to do it, I don't think it it warrants it. But I think if you do it because it's telling an interesting story and it's telling a meaningful story. Uh, then I think yes, do that. Like that's, yeah, and I think it's yeah. great because I th- it's challenge. In some ways, it's good. This like whole PC movement has helped. Not not politically correct. Not a not personal computer. But I'm just saying, like <laughs> the idea of like after like was it like 2015 EA where or was it 2014 when like get, like Ubisoft got a bunch of crap for not having a female characters in Unity in a <laughs> well, yeah, Assassin's Creed Unity, and then all of a sudden after that like it's like female and then like uh mafia Evie. mafia came out oh, yeah. and it was an african-american lead character and like all this and it kind of forced developers in a way to experiment with these different ideas and try uh more diversity in their games and i and in some ways i think that really worked and it was yeah. it was cool to play these yeah. games in different perspectives and see these and i think that's good but i think if you're doing it just for the sake of doing it it's sure. not going to be good it's not yeah. it's, so to say we right. need to do this well i i think it's what like, it, what i and and what i mean by by saying that is that it's it's that continual uh allowing there to be representation um with good stories because i mean like you said mafia 3 that was that was fantastic and that story is that completely game. different yeah. if it is a uh, a white character that rather than uh, an African American yeah, character, it doesn't even make so, sense. So, what it wouldn't even make sense in that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, the fact that that there is that kind of uh, game that is out there, it, it's it's something that I I think is really important. And this this idea that this is something that can continue to help uh, kids, especially if they're in an area or, or whatnot where they don't actually interact with people that are different from them. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's a really good place to start is saying, hey, he, we've got options to be able to try and, and help people not grow with any biases because it's something that you're going to you're going to have regardless. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Next story comes from player dot one, which is a website, I guess. Uh, Xbox one owners are losing patience with my Minecraft's better together update. Why? Yeah, there are some issues that people have been running into with this. Uh, one of them is the fact that there's a lot of features that aren't in the game yet because it kind of has dumbed it down to the mobile version. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's not included in the game. I don't think that there's a lot. I mean, I, I, when I say a lot, it means that there's some things that, that people aren't happy about not being in the game. Um, with this version. The other thing is some people have reported having problems trying to port their old maps to the new version of the game, uh, which it does create a new... Um, if, if you've got like the digital copy on Xbox, it does create a new yeah. uh, game itself. So you could still go back and launch the Xbox One version. Which, why would you want to? I don't get it. I don't know. I mean, it's it's one of those. I th- I think it's because people know that that it's something that has the uh, kind of dumbed down version because there are some things that aren't included in the better together, just Minecraft version <coughs> that are in some of the other ones. There there was some other things that they said that um, it seems like it kind of is not as good controller support mm-hmm. uh, because it is designed more for that touch screen or keyboards. Um, so that's another one of the the big complaints that that has been going around with this new version. I haven't really played a whole lot of it. I saw you played a little bit of it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I say get over it. Whatever, you bunch of babies, grow up, <laughs> play the stupid game, or don't. Um, that does it for our news. Did you he bunch get of triggered. I just think they're whiny. <laughs> this, who cares? Go play the PC version, then you bunch of. Whiners. It's true. Like if you, if you what if they can't afford a PC? Well, then don't, then play the Xbox One and be happy. <laughs> yeah. The ninety-second game review. We couldn't go any faster. Hi, we're uh, we're gonna do a ninety-second game review. Of That's what the bumper just said. Yes. Right? Shut up. <laughs> Time has not started because of this. <laughs> you suck. Okay, Raid War, World War II, uh, developed by Lion Game Lion. It's a studio with experience 
making some of the mission content for uh, Payday 2 and was released on September 26th. The game was expected only for PC, but was announced for consoles roughly 45 days prior to its release date. Uh, if you're a fan of Payday 2, you might see some similarities. It's a one to four person co-op online first person shooter game. Uh, the gameplay is fairly straightforward. You choose from a list of missions, you run them over and over and over again, level up your character, unlock new weapons, outfits, spruce up your command center with things like golden toilets. Um, it's it's kind of a slapstick comedy. Uh, it's got slapstick comedy As throughout the entire game. The guy gets a game. knife pulled out of his throat. <laughs> exactly. That's this is the it's opening so video. So uh, try it tries desperately to kind of be the video game version of Inglorious Bastards. Uh, but language. Yeah. But even with live action cutscenes featuring John Cleese of Monty Python fame. Uh, as your allied handler or Hitler lookalikes that are acting like a buffoon. Uh, its attempt at greatness is immensely overshadowed by poor shooting mechanics, AI that actually has very little intellig intelligence exhibited, irregular hitboxes, disjointed wireframe rigging, oh, and quite a few known game-crippling glitches that will wipe your entire game save. If you enjoy a game with bad comedic cutscenes and hordes of Nazi baddies walking around and shooting aimlessly while you try and steal their gold uh, with visual quality. It, it, just stop it. I'm long. Uh, with visual quality... I wasn't complaining about that. I was just complaining the guy flipped us off like at the end of the video. That's, so. that's it trying to be slapstick comedy. That's um, slapstick? That's, yeah, that's he slaps it, you with it, maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you, if you enjoy... Uh, Games with uh, comedic cutscenes that are bad, hordes of Nazi baddies walking and shooting around aimlessly while you try and steal their gold with visual quality that's worse than a, than a game from a decade ago, then you might find a moment or two of enjoyment in this game. However, if you're like me and only played it because it was in your Gamefly queue as a game that sounded interesting, don't even pull the disc out, just put it back in the mail. Uh, Raid World War II disappoints on every level. If so you couldn't tell by the artwork, yeah. then, uh, <laughs> I mean... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So many aspects of the game are clumsy, they're incomplete, and, and it's it's broken. My suggestion, save your 40 bucks, and in a couple of weeks, pick up Wolfenstein 2 uh, if you're looking Ooh. for some Nazi killing action. Please, please so. pick up Wolfenstein. Excited for that game. I, I'm just trying to understand why it would have found its way into your queue to yeah. begin How with. How did you see this and go, this <laughs> looks like a good game, I should play this? <laughs> I heard it was related to Starbury or to Payday. Star so Citizen. I, well, yeah, exactly. No. And I liked Space Payday. Nazis. I liked Space. Payday for what it was. And yeah. it feels like it has some Payday stuff in it, but it's just really poorly executed. Is that because there were gold bars? Wow. No, it's the whole four-person mission-driven okay. kind of I got to say, if, if you're game. if you're an audio-only listener, take this moment to go to Google and type in Raid, <laughs> Raid World, World War II. II. Look at that box art and then go... Ew. And then try not to vomit on your computer. And then no, don't don't play this game. <laughs> uh, Jolliver says he would play a uh, space Nazi well, game. Well, then you would like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what? Because really, Luke is the bad guy. Uh, <laughs> They're all bad guys. I mean, did you see that? Did you see the thing about the... <laughs> All the Han bad Solo's guys. Harriet the, Tubman? All the what? bad guys loom in the background of the posters and in this new... Uh, Last Jedi poster. Oh, yeah. Luke is back there. Yeah, he's uh, he a he's acting like a bad guy. He's acting very dark side. Uh, You're acting very dark side. Oh, thank you. You should nair your dark side. Uh, that's a callback. Derry <laughs> Hey. <laughs> uh, very good. Very good. Thank you, Jeremy, for bringing your no wonderful review. Uh, that if people already <laughs> had bad suffering. taste, now you've saved them from playing this game. Uh, you saved me uh, from it. Yeah, Kyle had three copies of it in his game. Because <laughs> I have to play all the games. I don't know how he got three of the same game. Well, he's he trying to get excited. PC, PlayStation, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Xbox. Got to play all of them. Some <laughs> all the versions. For some reason, Gamefly had PC discs. I don't know. It's yeah. that every, bad of a game. Every all the versions. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Check unheard messages. Emails, voicemails, or DMs. We want to hear from you. Mailbox number, please. It's mail time. First message. Message. First message is no message, you buttholes. <laughs> uh, so, uh, nobody sent us anything. Nobody left us any messages. Nobody called. And you're concerned about the the, the <laughs> animation flipping you off? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, that's a much worse word than buttholes. Yeah, a middle finger is much more vulgar than That's buttholes. not a word. It's much more that's vulgar. That's flipping off. That means something yeah, It means much a worse. word. Yeah. 
Yeah, so tell me what It the, means Fred tell you. Me, tell me that saying butthole isn't as bad as a middle finger. What world it do you mean live in? It mean a lot in? of things. What really? else could oh it Oh my oh, gosh. Boy. I mean, it's pretty much all that's, that's negative. It's like a negative expression, just in general. All right, butthole. If you're afraid of using you're, the word on air versus actually saying the word, there's probably going to tell which one's worse. <laughs> yeah, I just think so. Saying. Yeah. If you yeah. can't say the word, Jeremy. Middle finger. Middle finger. Easy. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's well, just Jeremy, middle finger. That's the opening cutscene of the middle game. Middle finger you. No joke. <laughs> that's a open, so what? A lot of games have cursing way worse yeah. than that. So like, why do you care? Did you play GTA? Why <laughs> do you care about him? Because we're a family-friendly show. Family-friendly. <laughs> and you're... Put middle fingers yes. on the screen. All right, you, you here. I've, I've got you. Uh, this will be better. All right, you dairy air holes. Yeah, middle finger you, Jeremy. <laughs> middle finger you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the middle finger's going on here? <laughs> oh, this middle finger. Middle finger show. this. Oh. Uh, um. All right. Well, thanks everybody for not participating uh <laughs> give us a call no it's fine we'll For get next you, week we'll get leave us a message yeah uh you know send us an email uh yeah that's all the show we have right do we have more show patreon, well, we patreon. Gotta, yeah. thank you for reminding me what did you, well, 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 what did you thank you for reminding me thank you for reminding me <laughs> middle, middle <laughs> finger but trevor did you say something though before or were you thinking patreon too no i was thinking patreon oh, okay this is the part of the show where we thank our patreon peeps uh these people are the people who make it possible for us to sit here and act like a bunch of middle fingering idiots uh <laughs> no <laughs> better than a whole fist uh, uh. thank you very much though we honestly Whoa. do we honestly do really appreciate all your yeah. support uh it helps us you know continue to feel inspired and also to do some uh you know special things and afford to buy some more equipment to make the stream better uh and all of that stuff so thank you very 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 much uh these all the names you see in patreon coral are the ones that pay ten dollars are higher on patreon.com slash mint in a tub which we've got some new perks showing up there they're yes. actually i think some of them are there now right uh or not yet no kyle's not updating it. he's still working on it It'll be we're still soon. trying to figure a couple things out yeah we're still getting close uh, that does it for our show. Thank you very much. Everybody kiss your mother for me, and we'll see you next week on The Loop, but we'll see you tomorrow night on the Tubcast. Yeah. 9 p.m. Come, come hang out tomorrow night. We'll and trade out our Trevor for a Nathan. Oh, mm. I'm going to exchange Trevor. And we're going to talk so much Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Oh, without yeah. Trevor. Without Trevor. Uh-huh. We're just, Trevor's going to be like a it. sad Wookiee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching.